Hey everyone, Sam here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the application called iStat Menus. Now, iStat Menus is more of a utility than an application. And so, as you can see in the top bar of my uh, Mac, it actually shows you different information about your computer. So, for example, it will show you your free space on your hard drives, uh, the CPU temperatures, CPU cores being used, etc. And you can also even view things like the network and how that is running. Uh, so you can go really, you can really delve into all of the information about your computer. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, head into the application settings here. And this is going to give you an overview of all the things that you can sort of customize. Now, pretty much anything can be customized within this application. So, for example, you can change the menu bar theme to a different color. So let's go for green. And as you can see at the top here, now it is changed into a green theme. You can also change the drop down theme to a dark theme. So before it was a uh, light theme, now it's a dark theme. So if you prefer that, you can use that one. Uh, the other thing is you can update the frequency. If you want it to be really slow or if you want it to be medium, this is going to basically show you know, when, how, how fast this actually updates, this information updates. I usually leave it on fast because I want to know exactly what my computer is doing. You can also do uh, background opacity, which is going to uh, pretty much change the graphs uh, background uh, opacity as well. So if you go through these options here, you've got different options for CPU and GPU, and you can easily customize this. So if I wanted to remove this one here, it's going to remove it straight away from the top bar. And if I add it again, it's going to show that at the top here. And it's going to show you all of that stuff and, in, and all of the, the CPU cores as well. So if I go into cores, you can see the cores for all of my 12 threads. So it's going to base it off the threads of your CPU. Uh, if we go into memory, we can see we can actually customize, you know, what what memory indicators are shown. So we can have it so it shows it as 100% as an actual indicator. And as you can see, it says 22% memory being used. If we uh, take that out, it'll easily remove it. Let's go into uh, disks as well. As you can see, it's going to show you all of the different things with disks as well as uh, you know different indicators that you can use. And you can really just customize all of these things here. Now with disks, it's kind of cool because you can actually add or remove the menu disks at the top here. As you can see right here, I've got all of my hard drives showing uh, on at the top here, or at least some of them anyways. And then going into the network, we can also have the ability to uh, show what our current speeds are. So right now I'm using barely nothing, nothing at all really. And so I can add and remove things. So for example, I can remove the uh, the waveform and then the waveform is removed and added again. And as you can see here, I can go through all of these ones. I can actually grab my public IP. I can see which uh, network cards are connected at the moment. I can even go through it and see how much, um, you know, how much total downloaded things that I've I've downloaded how much uploaded, what's my peak upload speed, what's my download peak download speed. You can really delve into all of these options here. And you can even see which applications are using the most uh, networking. And that goes the same with like memory and CPU as well. So that is networking. You can also display the sensors of your computer. So for example, if I go into sensors here, you can see what my current CPU uh, core speed is running at. So it's 1.6 gigahertz, but it's like a, it should be going a lot faster, but uh, sometimes it might not always show uh, the, the correct speeds, uh, but for the most part it does. Uh, so here it's going to show you for the last hour, last 24 hours and last seven days on that CPU core specifically. Uh, it's going to show you all of the different fan speeds. Sometimes, for example, uh, for example, this one, this SSD, it runs at 128 degrees, and I believe this is just because of the way that the hard drive um, was designed. It's not specifically designed, but um, it wasn't made to work on Macs. So that is just a little thing there, but as you can see, this one, this hard drive is running at 17 degrees Celsius, 
Uh, and as you can see, you can see all the fan speeds and stuff like that. So, I mean, for the most part, this works really well. And you can see it, it, it shows up there. Now, you can add things and remove things like GPU cores, sensors at the top here, and add them to that. You can also uh, change the uh, this to display the, uh, the actual core speeds at the top here uh, if you want it to be a little bit bigger. Uh, we can go into battery. This is good for people that uh, are wanting to get a bit more detailed information from their laptops. Um, so you can disable and enable this if you wish. Uh, and you can customize this to your liking. And also you can add things like time. So if you want to have an extra little additional time thing, as you can see here, it shows that. But it will also give you like a calendar overview as well as the uh, the, the moon uh, moon info. So when the, the moon is expected to be the first quarter, the full moon, etc. As well as uh, extra little things like times for a different uh, you know, different places in the world with the uh, sunrise and all of that sunset stuff as well. So that is pretty much the time part. And you can even uh, combine things like you can, can combine CPU and GPU to be in a drop down or a menu bar. So if we were to add it to a drop bar, uh, drop down, you can then have a CPU and GPU there. You can also have a drop down like such, and it's going to show you the memory as well and there's a lot of things that you can do with that so it's really customizable and you're able to really sort of you know go into it and and make it the way you want it to look on your computer so that is pretty much what iSets menu is in a whole I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did leave some love and leave a like and subscribe for more great tech videos and uh, that's gonna be it guys thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one peace